Let's solve this question on application of integration in kinematics. A particle is moving along a straight line. The acceleration A of the particle after t seconds is given by A is equals to 9 minus 3t meters per second squared. If the initial velocity of the particle was 7 meters per second, find A, the velocity V of the particle at any given time t. Part 2, the maximum velocity of the particle. And then the last question, the distance covered by the particle by the time it attained maximum velocity. So those are the questions. So let's go to the first part. So the first part, you're supposed to find the velocity of the particle. Uh, you're given acceleration and you're given the initial velocity. One thing that you should remember is this. Given distance, you differentiate distance to get velocity. You differentiate velocity to get acceleration. That is the downward movement. You differentiate. The upward movement, whereby, for example, you're given acceleration, you're required to get velocity, like in this case, you're given acceleration, you're required to get velocity, you integrate upward movement. Then given velocity to get distance or displacement, you also integrate. So the upward movement, you integrate. So in this case, to get velocity, we shall integrate acceleration. And uh, acceleration is 9 minus 3t. And you're going to integrate this one with respect to t. When you integrate this, you get velocity to be 9t minus 3 divided by 2t squared plus constant c now we need to get the constant how do we get the constant we're going to use this we're given the initial velocity of the particle was seven meters per second so at initial velocity time will be zero that is at the beginning the beginning that is the initial velocity will be t will be zero and uh, we given the initial velocity to be 7 meters per second. Just need to substitute here velocity with 7. And then at initial velocity, uh, that is 7 meters per second, time will be 0. So when you substitute um, t with 0 here, you'll get c to be 7. That is a constant. Now you can write uh, the velocity. The expression for velocity will be v is equals to 90 minus 3 divided by 2 t squared plus that constant 7. So that is the Simple. velocity of the particle Simple. at any given time Simple. t. Now let's go to the second part of the question. Second part of the question, you're supposed to get the maximum, the maximum velocity of the particle. So you should know that at maximum, at maximum velocity, acceleration will be zero maximum velocity acceleration is zero so we just need to get uh, to take the expression for acceleration which is given by a is equals to 9 minus 3t so it will be zero at maximum velocity so this will give us the time at which this particle will attain maximum velocity so 9 minus 3t so we get t to be 3 seconds this is the time it attained maximum velocity now to get maximum velocity we shall go back to the expression for velocity which is this one here it is here so you just need to substitute v is equals to 9 we have obtained the time to attain maximum velocity so just substitute it with uh, 3 then minus 3 over 2 this will be 3 squared then plus 7 so velocity will be given by um the maximum velocity just you work out this is your calculator and uh, when you work it out 9 multiplied by 3 3 over 2 this one will give 20.5 or 20 and a half meters per second so Simple. that is how Simple. you work it out Simple. then the last question uh let's go to the last question the last question we are supposed to find the distance covered by the particle by the time it attained maximum velocity the distance covered by the particle so remember what we had noted earlier on 
S, V, and A. So now we are required to get the distance and uh, we have velocity. So that one again is upward movement. So how do we get distance having the velocity? We integrate. So distance or displacement is going to be obtained when you integrate velocity. And since we are required to get the distance by the time it attained maximum velocity, it attained maximum velocity at t is equals to 3 seconds. So therefore it had moved from 0 seconds to 3 seconds. So the limits that you're going to use is 0 to 3 seconds. Because it started from 0, then it attained maximum velocity at 3 seconds. So uh, to get um, these, we shall therefore integrate the expression for we have it here velocity it is here it is here 90 so you're going to integrate these and uh, 90 minus 3 over 2 t squared plus 7 respect to t then from 0 to 3 so you just need to integrate these and you get the solution so let us work out these so we integrate this 90 you get a 9 t squared divided by 2 then 3 over 2 t squared when you integrate that we shall get 3 divided by 6 t cubed then we integrate 7 we get 7 t then don't forget to add constant there don't forget the constant and then square brackets the limits 0 to 3. So you know what to do here? Uh, you're going to simply substitute. You're going to substitute 3 first in this expression here. So 9 over 2 then 3 squared minus 3 over 6 3 cubed plus 7 3 is how you work it out substitute 3 then subtract we need to substitute 0 of t so 9 over 2 0 squared minus 3 over 6 0 cubed plus 7 then 0 so for the constant you can leave it since uh, once you put the constant here and here you're going to subtract the constant you have 0 so there's no need of uh, carrying it along so 9 over 2 uh, multiply by 9 uh, this would be 4.5 uh, you can just work it out using um, decimals you can, 9 over 2 is the same as 4.5 so multiply by this would be 9 then 3 over 6 is the same as a half so this one is 0 0.5 then multiply 3 cubed is 27 then this will be 21 like that and then subtract this will be everything here this one will be zero this one will be zero this one will be zero so everything here will give us zero hope you see that eh? everything here will give us zero so we just need to work out this and uh, when you work out this you get the answer and so this will give uh, just use a calculator and use a calculator the calculator is yeah so 4.5 bracket this is a 9 then subtract 0 0.5 multiply by 27 then plus 21 that will give 48 this will give 48 then everything subtract 0 and this will give um 48 meters Simbo. Simbo. 48 meters Simbo. as the distance covered by the particle by the time it attained maximum velocity and that is how you're supposed to solve that question thank you